Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. What up? Boring Reviews here. Jody there. Nick here. And today we are watching another video on This Is Norway, but it's not geography now. No, it's another video on Norway called This Is Norway. That's what she meant. Yeah. And this is a shorter video. We uh, just had a light that went out. But we had some requests to check out some Norway videos. And this is one of the ones I found there that seemed to be a very popular one. It's a short video. If you watch our geography now, almost 20 minutes. Very different in length compared to that one. But I'm sure we're going to learn some different things. I'm hoping we will. If you like what you see here, if you're from Norway or anywhere else, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you really just love us, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. And don't forget, don't forget to tell me how much you like me. Just kidding. But we're going to go ahead and check this out. If you missed it, once again, you can check out our Geography Now reaction to Norway. And you can come back and then watch this one. Or but if you like the shorter version, here it is. I think the dream has come true. We'll find out. Here we shall. This is planet Earth, and this, this is Norway. Many people think that Norway is the capital of Sweden. So if you think so right now, you are wrong. Since ancient time, Norway has survived on fish, potatoes, rocks, and plundering. And then in the 1960s, we invented the oil. We gave up rocks and plundering but we still like fish and potatoes. The invention of oil <laughs> awesome. has in many ways laid the foundation of today's society, where we are born with skis on our feet. Nice. Even before we learned how to walk oh. or even stand, we got dragged into a big ski called a pulk. But as soon as they learn how to stand on their own feet, they are forced to love skiing. During these ski trips, they also learn how to love the lunch packet. The lunch packet's most popular contentment is a frozen piece of bread with a slice of yellow cheese on it. But soon enough, we learn how easy it is to get something else. Bedtime stories are a big thing in Norway. They mainly evolve around scary creatures like trolls and a guy called Askeladden. And these stories are the main reason why the children are afraid of the dark. Even though we Norwegians <laughs> got extremely wealthy from inventing the oil, we keep forgetting to buy more kindergartens. So socializing is a rare expense for some kids. But uh, what we do buy a lot of are schools. We start school at the age of six and graduate after we learned that Norway is not the capital of Sweden and the Norwegian special <laughs> letters uh, A, O, O. Oh. oh. And lunch packet uh, with the frozen bread and the cheese is still popular here. Two weeks before the final exams and graduation, the grad students put on red and blue overalls. Then we drink and drive red and blue cars, sometimes also buses, while not doing our homework. The 17th of May is the last day of celebration. And this also happens to be our day of independence. On this day, we celebrate our liberty, our fish and potatoes and oil. We have flags and eat Norwegian traditional food like hot dog. Kids and grown-ups also wear a traditional dress made from wool called a bunad. It itches terribly, is way too warm and makes you look fat. But that doesn't <laughs> stop us from smiling and dancing and kicking hats of sticks. It looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Folk dances. After graduation from nice high school, we leave our moms and her dinners. We migrate oh. to bigger, bigger cities and discover dinners that are much more enjoyable than mom's <laughs> fish and potatoes. <laughs> but we still like fish and potatoes. After moving to bigger cities, we find a job or a book to read and go out two days per week. We mingle and have sex. Actually, statistically speaking, we are at the top of the scale when it comes to one night stands. In Norway, also referred to as simple, easy enjoyment. 
Then we have babies and start a family. <laughs> Our true? children are born with skis on their feet and then put them in pulks. <laughs> and make them go skiing. Ma make lunch packets. Scare them with stories about trolls. Make them wear clothes that itches and tell them to kick hats. Give them money so they can drink kick and drive hats. and not read. So that they can repeat their cycles over and again. And they say now, hey, welcome to Norway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so glad we watched the other one first. That oh, is so awesome. I don't know if it's originally done by Jens Peter, um, Jens Peter, or if this guy <laughs> got it from a different thing originally was, but that was a stroke of genius. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In less than four minutes, I was informed, I was entertained, I was given a whole lot of sarcasm, which I loved, had some great music there. Um, and like you said, it was, it, you, you revisited the beginning back at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch packets. <laughs> They're frozen bread and cheese. <laughs> Sounds nasty. Just the frozen bread part. Well, and I wonder if the frozen bread was kind of like a joke because it's so cold. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably, because we have cheese sandwiches here. I, absolutely. I think cheese sandwiches are so gross. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Well, grilled cheese sandwiches are pretty good. Grilled cheese are good, but just like bread and mayo Oh, and I used cheese. to love those when I was a kid. Cool. Mayo. Um, that was hilarious. I love their constant love of fish and potatoes. <laughs> fish and potatoes. <laughs> that that was that was hilarious. And you know what? I actually learned something new. I did not know that they were the number one country for one night stands. Yeah, I don't know. Is that accurate? Like he just showed us the graph. He didn't say what that was. To. Yeah, I did not have a time. What did they replace with for the oil? For the oil, what did he say that they that the three and the fourth thing that they loved? I thought that was hilarious. We replaced that with the oil. Oh, I don't know. Um. Anyways, I but yeah, that know. that was a great video. Here we... I am shocked that as a child we didn't grow up in Norway because my dad was a ski instructor, and so we grew up on a mountain skiing. And then finally, when my dad had felt that I had mastered skiing, um, when I was older, like in my preteens, I was able to. Uh, snowboard uh, rocks and plunging that's rocks and plunging that's right that's <laughs> the rocks and the plundering for the oil because the vikings <laughs> but i love it because you, you do hear about like the trolls and they say like frozen is based off of like norway being there and stuff and that thing. yeah and you just hear all about like that different and i liked how he went over the other scarier creatures that we don't hear too much of but he made me laugh about how this is why the kids are afraid of the dark because yeah. i thought yeah you're telling scary stories at nighttime like well, I mean, our, funny. our culture and, and worldwide, not just here in the United States, but we love scary stories too, right? I mean, yeah, kids in elementary school, they love watching the scary movies I and all that kind like of stuff. I like scary, but yeah. Some kids aren't for it and some adults aren't for it, but I would say the majority love scary movies, scary stories, they scary do, books. But it's not typically the stories that we read to our kids at night. We <laughs> well, read all those cute some little... Some might, you never know. We didn't. Good night, moon, and like different things like that, like no the actual sense. bedtime stories. That's a good book, but yeah, this this was a lot of fun. It was great to learn, you know, a little bit, <laughs> maybe more than just the one night stand fact. <laughs> but um, a lot of respect for Norway from the geography now video. This was hilarious. This was more of a joke take. So definitely make sure you, if you haven't yet, check out geography now. A little more serious, but some really good information and comical as well. This was a uh, strict entertainment for me. There's a bunch of requests here, not, not requests, uh, suggestions on from YouTube for us to check out some Norwegian commercials. If you have any interest in that, comment below. Let us know if there's other video about Norway or any of its neighbors that you want us to check out. If you're like, hey, you haven't checked out our country yet, we want to check out as many countries as we can that we can react to. Let us know. Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and really quickly, let us know if it's true. If you happen to know, is Norway the number one country <laughs> in one night stands? Like, I just feel like I need to know that now. That's so I just important. need to know that. <laughs> Until next time. Goodbye.